What stood out to you about the way Nestor was thrown? Well, I think today he got back to staying in his delivery and keeping his fastball and cutter lines tight. I think the last couple outings he started to kind of lose the fastball on the arm side and the cutter shape opened up a little bit. So trying to get him back to control both sides of the plate and really get the ball in. And I think he did a really good job of that today. Cutter clearly played a huge role in his success. What made that pitch so good this afternoon? I think it's just how tight it stays on the fastball for a long time. And then you kind of get guys indec indecisive about whether they're going to swing or take. And then he's when you think he's going to throw the cutter, he throws the fastball on the plate and then when you think he's going to throw the fastball, he throws the cutter off the plate, so it kind of puts him in a bind. What did you think you had when you first saw Nestor Cortez, and how does that compare to what you've seen over the last year plus? I knew of him, you know, just as like a, a long guy that could fill some innings, throw strikes, and kind of pitch to a plan. And over time, he's kind of grown in his role and understood what his strengths are and kind of amplified him a little bit. So he's gotten in better shape. He's thrown a little harder. He understands his profiles a little more, and his attack plans just get tighter and tighter as he goes. Uh, Matt, after those two walks, you went out to talk to him. Was there something you noticed? or there something you were trying to settle him down with there? Or? More, yeah, just kind of keep him on line. He was kind of starting to spill out of his delivery and lose his posture a little bit. And so just make sure he was in a good spot, you know, fatigue wise and understood kind of who was coming up and what our plan was, just kind of refocus him and recenter him up a little bit. And then how difficult is the decision? Aaron talked about letting him go until he did give up a hit. As you do get into the area where he hasn't thrown that many pitches before in his career, does it become a, a tougher a tougher thing? Yeah, I think that, that was definitely getting to a point where we were getting a little uncomfortable and, you know, knowing if he got through that inning, we're staring at 115, 120 pitches. And I think we were trusting that he was going to be honest with us about how he felt, but also we were going to have to make a hard decision at some point, either let him go or pull the plug. Matt, you said the spring you hoped he realized he belonged in this group. Yeah. Do you think he's realized that, and, and what does that mean for him? Yeah, I think he's coming to terms with that, that he's a, a major league pitcher, and he deserves to go out there and pitch every five days, and he gives us a chance to win. And I think just knowing what his strengths are, and he's really good at just owning that and going after hitters, and he's not scared of the strike zone, and that gives him a chance every time. Do you sense a different kind of confidence from him this year? I think it's growing each time out, and, you know, we keep giving him opportunities to go deeper and deeper in games, and we've got a really good bullpen, and the fact that we thought he was our best option and just let him keep going, I think it should grow his confidence. Why do you think he is embraced? I mean, obviously the results help, but so much by the guys in this room. I think they see that he's authentic and he's himself, and he's not trying to be anyone else on the staff, and he just goes out and does his thing, and he's a, you know, good worker, good teammate, and, he you know, he just basically owns his job. So I think that's all we can ask of any of the guys. Minors, he was pitching to not get released every yep. time. How do you balance knowing that he's got a spot here with having to use that as motivation? Yeah, I mean, even in the offseason, he called and asked if, yeah, if I thought you had an outside chance of making the team. And I was, <laughs> it's like, I think you got a shot at making the team. We'll see where it ends up. But, uh, you know, I think it's just part of, you know, who he's been and kind of just always the underdog and always kind of fighting for a job. And it's probably part of what makes him really good is he's always hungry to get better. And, you know, obviously we're giving him some resources to help him with that. And he's just taking ownership of it.